Panther. Uh, they're currently sitting at fourth down. It yep. looks like they might have to punt again. We have three minutes and 52 seconds left on the clock. Let's see what Luther has to do in this possession. Luther's ball, fourth down. And they are going to punt. Um, let's see if Univista. A short punt, but a good punt. It stops at about the 41 yard line, it looks like. And it is done moving now. It looks like it is now Buena Vista's ball. A little bit of an awkward punt for Buena Vista, but it is what it is. We're currently sitting at 336 in the third uh, quarter of the Buena Vista home football game. Versus the Buena Vista Luther. homecoming football game. Got to get hyped up for that. But yeah, there's lots of energy. And uh, with homecoming, I get very hungry during homecoming. I don't know if that's just because I get excited and forget about food, but uh, yeah, homecoming gets me pretty hungry. And you know what you could do about that? You could go down to Pizza Ranch. I heard they have some good food down at Pizza Ranch, which is 517 East Milwaukee Ave Avenue here in Storm Lake. And um, they have a, a delicious variety of foods, such as pizza, chicken, and a full salad bar. Um, and they have some legendary pizzas that'll tempt your taste buds. And uh, yeah. Oh! Sorry to interrupt that read there, but that was an incredible catch by Buena Vista. Um, that was catched, caught by uh, Trey Fisher. He's definitely showing talent here. The sophomore from Farmva Farmvale, Iowa. Let's take a look at that again. That was an incredible play by Buena Vista. Great job getting it out of his hands and caught by Trey Fisher. And the running! And it's on! Oh, down! Go oh, my word! In the even. touchdown! Incredible! This is college football here in Storm Lake, Iowa. This is homecoming game. Elon with the incredible, incredible, incredible run. This is football here in Storm Lake, Iowa. And this is how you will play offense. This is how you should play offense. Our leading player here, Eamon, manages to take a huge run for the touchdown. Everyone is excited here, and they're going for the extra point here. See if they could try to just put an extra cherry on top of that. And it is good! They are currently sitting at 17. We're gonna take a look at this incredible play. Look at this rushing yard by Iman. Running, running, Luther cannot quite. In dodges. He cannot be taken down. He is, he is built different. Iman is playing incredibly, the junior. This is how you play football. This is how you play football, ladies and gentlemen. This is what I mean when, this is what I mean when I say that PV needs to switch up their offense. They did that with that 41 yard rush to the touchdown. 41 yards, that is incredible. Now that, that was a 19 yard pass to the 41 yard touchdown. That was incredible. That was what we love to see on homecoming day, you know. Incredible as that was 59 yards in two plays. This is energetic for Buena Vista here, especially on their homecoming. This is what they want to see. Luther, like their defense lacked there as Eamon just cannot be taken down. He squirms through their defense like it's nothing. What a great play by Eamon. What a great play by the Beavers in general. Just absolute, absolutely great communication, especially with the coaching. They did, they did a fantastic job initiating that play and uh, allowing the Beavers to get a seven point lead here in the th third quarter. What a great job by the Beavers. Now, Luther's going to return this ball and we'll see if they're able to manipulate that or see if they're able to try to inch some points in for themselves. It looks like they're at 318 and it looks like a touchback, or uh, yes, a touchback, my apologies. At 316 minutes on the clock, um, looks like they're going to switch up uh, back to their other formations. And here we go, the Beavers ready to go back to defense. As Josiah said earlier, a game of tennis back and forth, back and forth offense, defense. Now, as we saw BVU's incredible, incredible offense here with that incredible touchdown, will they be able to play as well defensively in this quarter, or in this possession? We'll see. It's currently Luther's ball. 
They're sitting on the 25-yard line after the punt. Three minutes and 16 seconds remain in this quarter. Beavers up by seven. Has the ball. Bo, Bo. has his hand on the ball. He's Running. forced to run. And he gets it off just in time. Long pass, but it is nowhere Four near miles. players. I mean, Bo's had some incredible plays Taking this down. this quarter, the last quarter, just the entire game in general. Um, he's had several of those looks where it's been thrown out of bounds. Um, he really, I feel like it needs to be a little more addressed and focus while he's playing. That would allow more, allow Luther to get more yards if he just focuses up and finds more openings. Luther's ball on the 25 as that possession was no good. It's a handoff. Great rushing attempt by Damiani, Aiden Damiani again by Luther. Another name we've heard Damiani several times tonight, today. Now that is the seventh rushing attempt by Luther this quarter. Uh, they currently have two minutes and 48 seconds. Let's see if they try more attempts there. See if they can squirm their way to a touchdown. We'll have to see the time's just ticking down in this third quarter. Two minutes and 40 seconds remain in this quarter. Luther with the ball, trying to make a move, trying to get some yards to get the touchdown. Looks like it's in Bo's possession. He launches it and it's caught again. A by good, good, hey, he's still up. He's still up and that was a great, great play again by Aiden. That was an incredible He needs business right now. He's currently laying on the ground. Um, this is not looking good. Another injury on the field. With another star player here. Aiden Deminiami, another injury. We're not quite sure what happened here. He was just running and it looks like a shoulder injury. That looks like it would be the third injury. And he is the rushing leader for Luther with 44 yards. So that is very, very, very unfortunate with the Beavers. Yeah, let's take a look at what happened here. He caught the ball and it looks like, a, oh, that looks like he might have, I'm not sure what Hold it weird happened. or something. It looked like his arm was thrown back when he was running. This is not good for Luther as they are losing one of their great players. And he is back in the huddle, it appears, so maybe he is still playing. Aiden is a fighter today. Really, really, I think he is still in the game. Looks like he might be back out. He is not in, I don't believe. Um, it looks like he has been sat out, which is very unfortunate considering he is being, he is the leader in rushing. Well, we'll have to see. It looks like it's passed and a great attempt by Luther there. It and looks like it was passed by BV. to Alejandro Cam Campos. Um, he is a freshman, uh, Luther. Let's see what uh, Luther can do in these last two minutes and 10 seconds here without one of their leading rushing players. Yeah, and two minutes remain. Two minutes and three seconds remain in this quarter. Um, not a lot of time for Luther to make a move here. They're really going to have to work for this touchdown, especially with BV being up by seven. They're currently sitting on the 50 yard line, halfway across the field. Are they able to make, oh man, they're forcing him to, oh! It looks like Bo is a able to launch huge it far. Throw. And it is barely tipped. Great defensive play by Buena Vista and also a great attempt by Luther, number 24, Tommy Cactus. Yeah, that was Trey Ortman from the Beavers who tipped the ball away. That was a great, great effort by him. Um, we're currently sitting at one minute and 40 seconds left in this quarter. Still on the 50 yard line after that incredible play from the Beavers. We'll they have to see here what happens. They really, really, Luther really needs to step up, up their offensive capabilities right now if they want to squeeze in those extra points to have a chance at winning. There's still an extra quarter after this, and there have been four plays and 21 yards currently. And it looks like it is Bo in Bo's hand. He throws the ball again, and it is Great caught. Catch. He is forced down well, here. Yeah. There's another good. flag on the play, apparently. Yeah. Samuel Ziegler Evans caught the pass. However, there is, as Jaden said, a flag thrown on the field. Oh, it looks like we lost it, our connection for a second here. Sorry about that. Uh, we're back on.
ineligible. Yep, that was another penalty on the play. It's still Luther's possession. Um, yeah, it's, it's looking, there's about one minute and 33 seconds. It's still looking semi in Luther's favor. They're really gonna have to play well here offensively. The Beavers are really stepping up their defensive game. Bo they've been very well offensively and defensively today. Ball is currently in Bo's hand. He launches it again and it might be caught. It is not caught, it is incomplete, barely. No good by Luther. That was a great look by Bo. I mean, this is what I mean. He has his times where he ha has wide open shots that miss, but that was a great look by him, finding that open ability. Um, as you can see, Bo has the ball. It was a great look, following that ball, and that is no good. They were unable to get that down. A great defense by Trayton Mahler, the senior from Newell, Iowa. All right, it's still Luther's ball. All right, so Luther's ball. Let's see what they're able to do. It looks like it's going to be a punt. It's a far punt, a far one, and it looks like they are going to run. Iman with another great throw. That was an incredible takedown by, uh, by Luther. Uh, Iman with the great rushing play. That was an excellent play on his end here. Um, it looks like we got a lot of aggression from Eamon here. Um, it looks like they are currently sitting on the 34 yard line. It is currently, we're gonna take a look here. It's currently uh, Luther's ball, or Buena Vista's ball, my apologies. A great play by Eamon, a great look, and he was thrown down. Um, that was a great, great play by Luther. One minute and eight seconds left in this quarter. Oh, a good fake by, a great, great fake by Buena Vista. And it was, Carreras pass intended it was for no Fisher. good. Was incomplete. Second down and 10. That was the second down at 10 yards to the first down for Buena Vista. The Beavers going back, attempting to get the yards. Um, and we'll see if Luther's defense is able to step up. All right, Luther with the defense. We'll see if they're able to find some good openings. It's currently Buena Vista's ball sitting on the 34 yard line. Um, one minute, and three seconds left in the third quarter. It is a great Attempt, he's still, still up. up. He's, he's, he's still fighting. Up. A great fight by number 28 of the Vita Vista Beavers, which is Mevin O'Brigan, uh, the sophomore from Surprise, Arizona. Uh, I feel like you've heard his name before. Uh, at the start of the, the start of the game, he had a great play. Um, Let's we'll take a look at that again. It was a great effort by him. He was not settling for getting taken down. He was staying up. It looked like he had three or four guys on him. He still managed to stay up for that what time. Fight. And he did not manage to lose the ball, so he had great ball security on that ball. He did a fantastic job holding on to that one. Are, are they able to grab some yards in these last 17 seconds remaining in this quarter? It's going to have to be a long drive and a long throw for the Beavers. 10 seconds remaining in this quarter and it looks like they will not be getting points in this quarter with the quarter ending with about four seconds. There are four seconds still remaining in this quarter. 